Welcome to the Influential Motherhood Podcast. I'm your host, Melissa Duncan, and my dream is to inspire moms to pursue their goals and help them make a difference in their world. I'm a mom of two young boys, a wife to my high school sweetheart, and a lawyer. This show is a place to hear stories of moms working hard to have a positive influence in their profession or their community, and sometimes both, even as they juggle their responsibilities at work, at home, and to their children. You'll get tangible, practical tips for managing the chaotic world of motherhood and work. Come along as we hear these stories and feel inspired to step outside of our comfort zone as leaders and as a positive force within our communities. I believe that moms can change the world. So this is my first podcast episode. I'm so excited to be doing this podcast. This is something that has been on my heart and on my mind for over a year now, and I feel like it's finally come to fruition, and I really appreciate you listening in. So this is just an introductory episode where I'm just going to talk a little bit about my own Um, status, I guess, as a mom, as a working mom, and uh, why I was inspired to make this podcast and what I hope that it will do for moms who have professional goals yet feel kind of that struggle and that tension between what's expected of them or needed from them at home plus what they are expected to do and needed to do at work. So I'm a young mom who has career goals. And when I look around, though, I see that a lot of my fellow moms are really struggling with their choice to pursue their own professional goals. So I really wanted to create a space where my fellow moms can be inspired by stories of moms who are juggling the chaos of motherhood with their own professional identity and goals, because there can definitely be some tension there. So to give you a little bit of background information, I am a North Carolina girl. I'm married to my high school sweetheart, Damon. We were both college cheerleaders, and we both went to law school right after we got married at the ripe old age of 22. And so we've been married now for um, almost 13 years, which is a long time um, considering that we're pretty young. But after practicing law for a few years after law school, uh, we had our first son. And um, when he was a little over a year old, I decided to pursue my own professional goal of getting out of law practice and working in higher education. So then about a year into my new career in higher education, I became pregnant with our second son. I went back to work with both boys after about 11 weeks of maternity leave. And one day I'll do a podcast episode where where I share some comparisons between the two maternity leaves because a self-employed maternity leave is very different from a non-self-employed maternity leave. Um, And so I think that that would be helpful for people to hear the difference. I do struggle every day with getting my people dressed and out the door. Uh, It's chaos around our house every morning, and I often feel like I've completed an Olympic sport. By the time I sit down at my desk at work, I'm usually a frazzled mess. I'm unsure of wearing whether I'm wearing a matching outfit or whether I have eyeliner on both of my eyes or have I even brushed my hair today. But I feel energized and inspired both by my home life and my family and my kids and my husband and by my career and the goals that I have at work. And so I feel like I've still been able to um, even, you know, because of my motherhood and my status as a mom, I, I think that I've still been able to receive recognition as a working mom and as a successful working mom through a couple of promotions within four years. I've participated in a statewide leadership program, and I've been honored as Young Alumna of the Year by my undergraduate school, and I've been able to continue growing my team at work. I'm convinced that I'm a better leader and have a more creative approach to my work now that I have kids. This isn't to say that a woman without kids isn't just as great of a leader because she absolutely is. But for me personally, my effectiveness at work was taken to the next level after I had kids. I think that the chaos of motherhood actually forced me to be more efficient and creative at work so that I could solve problems faster and prioritize my to-do list in a more effective way. So although most of this podcast will be interview style, where I'll be interviewing moms who I think are really inspiring um, because of the work that they've done either 
in their community or the success that they've had in their um, career. I also plan to throw in some solo episodes here and there where I'll share my own stories, challenges, and successes. So while I certainly haven't mastered the working mom gig, I hope my own successes and failures will inspire fellow moms who are listening. So thanks for tuning in, and I hope that through this podcast, you'll be inspired to positively influence the world around you. Welcome to Influential Motherhood.